hello 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 guys thank you so much for watching i'm mr pauline now uh thank you so much for tuning into this video today i'm focusing on white card diagrams so this is the card diagram that i'm going to be focusing on so uh the reason why i'm doing that today is because i have a lot of questions from all my students i give them a question like this they always struggle so i'm trying to uh, get them to understand this right and trying also to get everyone that follows me to understand and master this so the secret to this and the trick to this is very simple so i want you to play close attention and watch this video until the end right if you want to learn the secrets and the concept that you can uh, use to tackle this card diagram and as always if you think that this content is very helpful please do make sure that you give this video a like and also subscribe to our channel if you think that our content here is very helpful if you want to get in touch with me the number is right there on the screen right so that's my number you can whatsapp me if you just are interested in some uh current and latest vid study pack we call it the vid booklets right that we have in stores you can just get in touch with me the number is right there on the screen and i'll be able to help you and also there are also some computerized vid pre-test if you like to assess yourself and test your knowledge to find out how well we have understood and will you be able to pass a VID. Okay, uh, without wasting much time, let us begin uh, solving this uh, car diagram. So this is a Y car diagram, right? So the question states that which car goes last. Okay, so we're gonna be finding out which car goes last year. Okay, and as always, you have to appreciate the first road rule. And I always tell people that the first road rule that you're going to use, right, is give the right way to traffic that is approaching from your right okay so we have three cars here car b car c and car a okay so we're going to say car a give the right foot traffic that is approaching for its right which is car b and car b give the right foot traffic that is approaching for its right which is car c so car c here will it also give the right foot to traffic uh, that is approaching for its right which is car a okay so a lot of people get confused they get into that spiral effect where this car give the right foot to this car and this car give the right foot to this car and this car give the right foot back to this car but what you have to understand is that uh that road rule will work if you place the directions where these cars are going into uh, consideration okay so we need to appreciate where these cars are going okay so car is going this way car c is going this way and car b is going this way so obviously we can appreciate that this portion of the road is being used by two cars while this, this portion of the road is being used by only one car okay so what we need to understand is that we, we need to place car a and car c in what we call an oncoming traffic situation so what do i mean by that i mean that as you can see we have said that when we used the first road rule that car A gave the right to car B and car B gave the right to car C. So car C cannot give the right foot to car A because they are not going to affect each other's movement. Okay, because car C as you can see it is going in this direction. Car A is going in this direction. There is no way that car C should stop for car A because they are not affecting each other's movement okay so car c is moving in this direction and car a is moving in this direction okay so however car a has to give right foot to car b because they are all about to enter into the same lane here and the car b should give the right foot to car c because if they don't both these two cars can um intersect or can collide at this point okay so that road rule will only work if one car has to give the right way to another car and if that one car does not give the right way to that other car there will be a collision okay let me explain that further if car a doesn't give right way to car b there will be a collision here because they are want to use the same lane here and if car b doesn't give the right way to car c there will be a collision here because they all want to use this portion of the road here where my dot is right okay but car c cannot give right foot to car a because both of these cars right they don't want to use the same roads and secondly we consider them as oncoming traffic 
so there's a difference between oncoming traffic and crossing traffic i have told that and i've explained that in our later videos if you want to learn more about that just go in our master driving uh, theory courses they are there right there on, on our channel this channel right so just go right there you can watch them and try to understand them okay so getting back to the issue at the end i want you to note that car a here does not receive right of way from car c so what that means is that uh when we use the first road we arrive at car c we say that a gives right of way to b and b gives right of way to c so c goes first okay because it cannot give right of way to the traffic uh that is on the other road it cannot give right of way to car a okay so c can't give right of way to car a so a c moves here by the reason that a c is moving b is automatically suspended because they are want to use this same portion of the road here okay so as c moves b is automatically suspended which means that a can take advantage because remember cars in the same road they move at the same time which means that a can take advantage here a can take advantage and move also at the same time okay and move also at the same time so as c moves a can move at the same time and i just explained to you why you can't say that c should give right effect to car a because that will give you a spiral where you always have to uh give the effect to the next car and that will never end so, so c goes a follows then the last car will be b so b is our last car to go i hope you've understood this guys if this one was very awful just give this video a like or just say in the comment section very often i now understand this because i know that a lot of people do get confused to do get troubled with such type of questions okay so there is a theory that people have used right and i'm not here to correct it uh it works though it works so they say that the car at the root of the y intersection is the right of way okay so that one works but I, I wanted to go a little deeper than that so that i just don't give you things uh, that may give you trouble in the end so that one works that the car that when you look at a y diagram the car at the root of the y intersection is the right of way that's kind of a so shortcut but i wanted you to appreciate how the car at the root is the right of way and things like that so thank you so much guys for watching i will see you later in the next video goodbye